This is Cruise News Today with Doug Parker. German shipyard Meyerwerf provided a construction update on Carnival Jubilee on Tuesday. The last major block for the ship has been built as the structure of the stern has been completed. Carnival Jubilee is scheduled to debut this December in Galveston, and it will join sister ships Mardi Gras sailing from Central Florida and Carnival Celebration sailing from Port Miami. And to celebrate Valentine's Day yesterday, Carnival's chief fun officer, Shaquille O'Neal, virtually officiated vow renewals for couples across the entire fleet. An onboard reception followed each ceremony, complete with a DJ dancing and champagne toast. Counting every ship in the fleet, the event marked Carnival's largest ever vow renewal at sea. And guests on Royal Caribbean can now use the Lines app to message each other free of charge. Royal Caribbean has dropped the $2 per person per day fee to use the in-app messaging feature. To use the messaging function, just make sure you have the Royal Caribbean app downloaded before your cruise. Connect to the ship's Wi-Fi and you're off to the races. And cruise ships will soon be able to plug in for power when docked in Florida. A recent shore power study for Port Everglades has recommended the port be able to deliver electricity to eight of its cruise terminals. The estimated cost would be $20 million per terminal and is expected to be funded through federal and state grants, FPL, and Broward County along with the cruise lines. Construction could begin as soon as 2024 and all phases of the project could be completed by the end of 2027. And cruise line stocks were up on Tuesday. Carnival Corporation up 2.1%, 11.88. Royal Caribbean up 2%, 75.37. And Norwegian up 3.1%, uh, rather 17.45. That's 17.45. Breaking news and industry coverage at cruiseradio.net. I'm Doug Parker with Cruise News Today. Have a tip or a lead on a news story? Let us know. Email tips at cruiseradio.net.